everyone, Michael G. Peterson of Dark Fortress Pictures here. I want to welcome everyone to the official countdown for our last broadcast, Chapter 2, Pandora's Dawn. Yes, it's finally official. This Friday, the second episode of my award-winning web series is finally going to be making its premiere on the official Dark Fortress YouTube channel. So, I am extremely excited. It's been a long process, two years in the making, and I just can't wait to finally get it out on the big screen and also on the internet so people can actually see what the second episode's about. First of all, the reason why I'm doing this video blog is because I want to apologize to everyone, uh, cast and crew and friends who have been dying to see the second episode of TLB. Uh, they've thought that this episode got shifted into limbo due to uh, personal complications with uh, uh, former crew members and former uh, assistants that actually helped me produce the episode. Uh, unfortunately, you know, everything, you know, does come to an end and I was able to power through everything to save the episode and was finally able to get it released on the big screen. It's made its way to a couple of film festivals, not as much as the first one though, but it actually did make it to a couple of film festivals, which I'm extremely proud of. Uh, the reason why I went back and I redid a few things is because, um, after living with the material for so long, I finally realized there's actually a couple of segments that I can actually lose. So the 45 minute version, which is actually making its way around to film festivals right now, has been reduced to 25 minutes. So it's going to be the same length as chapters one and chapters three. And I think eventually I'm probably going to keep a 25 minute to 30 minute running time for the remaining episodes that tells the entire story of the last broadcast. In this version, if you've seen the long version, which would be my director's cut, which I wouldn't really call a director's cut anymore because um, a lot of the material that I did cut out is stuff that I actually kind of got over uh, with the exception of a few scenes that I really wanted to keep, but um, due to pacing reasons, I just had to lose them. So um, it wasn't because I was being a jerk or anything. It was just the fact that, you know, the material that existed in the script and also in the first cut of the episode had to be taken out due to running time. Also, there's a couple of um, screens that I went to where certain things got different responses. The responses I wasn't really too fond of. You notice that people are laughing at certain things. You kind of um, kind of rethink your your thought process on what the actual material is based on. So you try to salvage it as much as you can. Got it. Good. Stand back. Ready, Thompson? There's a couple of scenes that was really heart-wrenching for me to cut. Um, if you've seen the 45-minute version and you see, then you're about ready to watch the second, you know, this new version that's going to be released this Friday on the official Dark Fortress channel. Uh, there is a big difference uh, in pacing and also um, the material that was that was cut out uh, no longer exists. But don't worry. Uh, for those who are fans, I plan to have a DVD manufactured sometime later on this year. Hopefully it'll be around uh, October time I can get chapters 2 and 3 on the DVDs. So, but the main point is, is to get this new cut out, get it on the internet, get it to some film festivals, and hopefully, get a it hopefully it gets a chance at, you know, living a second life with this new version. After... I want to say maybe two and a half months, maybe even almost three of long evenings uh, and trying to figure out what needs to go and what needs to stay for this episode. I finally narrowed it down to this with the help of my lovely new assistant, Kimberly Ann Howard, who's also another local filmmaker in the area. She is the director of Another Girl in the Basement and also Detroit Ghostbusters. Uh, I basically took what I thought was relevant and adapted it to what needed to be taken out. And also I've listened to some other people who are award-winning filmmakers and who are also trying to help me build and expand my network and also help me, help myself as well become, you know, a better director and a better filmmaker just in general. Sorry, sweetheart. This lady's off limits. I'm just happy that this episode is finally in the can, and I think uh, this new cut definitely works, and hopefully uh, the people and some of the officials will agree that this is the definitive version of what TLB2 was supposed to be. I'm going to stop, um, you know, gabbing right now. i got to get to work. 
Um, but I hope to see you all here on the 4th of April. And just subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter uh, for all the TLB and other Dark Fortress pictures updates. Uh, until then, stay scared.